Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. I want to show you today how to split an object that is not a letter. Okay, I use my two page and I click my keep proportions and I'm going to blow it up. Okay, and I will come in here and I'm going to pull out my little rectangle. Doesn't really matter how long you make it, but you don't really want to make it too awful wide. And you click to the middle of the page so that you know it is centered. And you highlight it all. Object, oh, path, back minus front. Okay. So that it split that. So now we're going to come up here to object and we're going to click break apart. I'm going to come in here, split this, got to come back up and hit group though. And we'll do the same thing from the, for the top. Object and group. Okay, and we just want to slide this straight up so you're going to hit this arrow. It won't let you go side to side. Okay, so we're going to bring up our little rectangles again. That looks about even. Okay. Object. Duplicate. Two of them. Grab this one. Look for that blue line. See the blue line on the right hand side that just came out? There. Just like that. That's what you want to do when there's one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. That tells me that they're equal. And I'm going to nudge that down just a smidge. There we go. Now, with these, the objects that have holes like this, um, and this was a, a JPEG that I got from a, a free coloring um, page. Sometimes it doesn't matter what you do. You cannot get these to act right when you do this. Let me show you. Sometimes the shape will disappear. See? See? That's what just happened. So on things like this, either you can pull these things out independently, go ahead and do a union and then put them back in, or you can just allow this line to sit up here um, so that when you cut it, it will. Let me show you. See, it will actually be cut separately. It's not all unioned as one right here. But that's okay. If you leave it set like this, you know, on in your file and you cut it, when you go and put your transfer tape on it, it'll be just fine. Um, and you'll really have to get a magnifying glass to see it. Okay, so there's how you do it. Um, and then you can go ahead and put your name in there. But since these are unioned, you can go ahead and move them all over. They're not going to come apart. Um, you can actually come over here and click the weld button so that welds them together and you don't have to worry about that um, causing the uh, lines to disappear on you. Alrighty, so that's how you split things that are not fonts.